another table to fill in, six marker, um, six blocks, so only a mark per block. That should, should be relatively simple. Um, we've got an example in there as well, and we've been given a material and about how the property can be modified. Seasoning in this case, timber can be seasoned, um, which is a controlled drying process. And the effect of that is that it reduces the risk of warping. So we've had a look at the table. We get a sense of what's coming. Now we're going to have a look at the question in a little bit more detail. We can see that the um, command word is state. So we don't have to discuss or describe or explain. It's just a very simple, um, very simple bullet point that we need to put down for each of these blocks. And what we need to do is to state one method to change the property of the material and the effect of that method on the properties. So we'll start off with aluminium and we'll, we'll, one the most obvious thing we can think of is probably annealing. Um, that's the heating up and slow cooling of it. And the effect of that on the property is that it increases malleability. Now I'm gonna put another one down here. Anodizing increases hardness, um, just so you get a feel for it. You don't have, to, you shouldn't put two, you only need to put one down. Um, but I thought I'd just share others. If we move on to the polymers, we can add stabilizers. And these are chemicals that we add in the production process. So it's not something we sort of squeeze into a piece of plastic or you can inject into. It's something that you would do at the um, during the manufacturing, during the injection molding or whatever other process is used to make a product. And the effect that that has on the properties is that it can prevent UV degrading the polymer. So you might have heard of UPVC windows. Um, the U in that is the um, stabilizer that stops it, that stops the windows getting yellow or brittle um, and degrading. And I'm going to give you another example again, but you only need to put one. But you could also add plasticizers. Um, PVC again is often used um, with a plasticizer to increase its flexibility in cables. If we move on to the fabrics um, for furniture covers, we can add flame retardants. And we know that those flame retardants will prevent the start or slow the growth of a fire. Um, so there's plenty there. You only need to put one in each one. And I've given you some examples, um, some other examples, but um, I hope that helps.